Hi, this is from Groovy Entertainment. Today's video is me talking about Pico Bill from 1970. Now, I have seen this at the uh, seen on TV on air ABC on ABC or NBC when they did the Wall of Disney Presents at nighttime or in the afternoon time. And they would play all these old Disney movies and, and Disney shorts and new Disney movies and all that. And I remember seeing this one on that on them on one of them two channels. And it was I think it was the first Disney cartoon or cowboy cartoon. Now hit the record. Now the good thing about this book on record was it was copyright free. Nobody owned the right to the music or anything. So this is so this is free entertainment. I get the rights. I get to make money off of one of the Walt Disney movies. Now, I don't know if this was a movie or not. I don't know when this came out, except for the book saying 1970. But I'm thinking it was the came out in the 50s. Because cowboys and Indians were popular in the 50s and, and, and made all through the 60s. So by the time this book did come out, I think cowboy was on the dying side of, of TV and movie history. Because then cop shows started coming out in the seventies. <laughs> you still had your pop you still had your two popular Western TV shows, like your Gunsmoke and your Bazandas. And I know Wild Wild West is gone by this point. If you remember any other cowboy shows from the seventies, leave me in the comments. And then you still had cowboy movies like The Man Called Horse. You had John Wayne still being popular. You had the seventy. Two Mill with Sister Sarah. That was a 1970 cowboy film. So, this book, this book starts off with talking about him as a baby, him falling out the wagon chain. So, this is like, kind of like the Jungle Book, because the Jungle Book had a little boy. I think he, something happened to him. He, like Tarzan, they got lost. Well, Tarzan had a plane crash, and that's why he got lost in the jungle. And I think uh, the like, the Jungle Book kid got lost in the jungle because of something. So, that, so this is like a cowboy version of Tarzan in the Jungle Book. Yep. And they get raised by wolves. Or in Tarzan, he gets raised by apes. But... <laughs> And he started doing everything that the animal was doing. And you see what they did there? They did a they did a baby rabbit. And he looked just like the rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. And then he fought he fights off uh vultures and save a baby horse. So he's like a superman. Now, right now, he's starting to look like that character on Tiny Toons, Maximilian. Or that other kid, uh, Fantastic Max. <laughs> so I wonder if they knew what they were doing. Then he starts a, um, let's see, a tornado, a, a, a psycho. Yeah, it looks like a tornado, but he stops this. And talk about all his adventures. Now, this is the first time we ever did this one because the other one we were doing was Paul Bunyan and another kind of, I don't know if he was a real cowboy. He's one of these kind of cowboys. And I'm glad they kept the fighting scenes inside the book because as you be remember, 1968 was the year of the parents destroying TV. They messed up a lot of kids' cartoons, taking all the fun out of it, and a lot of TV shows taking the fun out of it. So I'm glad they kept the 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 the, the fights in the book. And then he digs for gold. Let's see. No, he digs for water. 
See, I saw the little gold nuggets. That was food, man. He digs for water. He finds water. And this becomes a real grande. Okay, he fights Indian, too. I guess it did have to be from the 50s because Cowboy was kind of gone in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Seeing see kids shows, like he had Scooby-Doo, Super Friends. Then he finds a print, he finds a female cowboy or cowgirl. And they get married. Or they fall in love first and then they get married. So they got a little romance. And the horse don't like it. So the horse do everything he can to mess it up for the two of them. Yep, the horse throws her off, makes her fly across the nation. And you see no more of her ever again. Or do you? Do do he raid cash her in the ear? No. He just lets her fly over the moon. He goes back home with his uh, his wolf family. So this is like the Jungle Book. Because in in the Jungle Book, I know in the Jungle Book, he goes, the animal people send him to to his to the humans. But he does come back to the, uh, to the to the animal people. Tarzan never Tarzan did go back home to England, and I don't know if he goes back to the to the to the jungle with his, with the animal people too. So this was a good book. Like I said, it was copyright free, so I didn't have to owe I didn't have to owe anything to the Disney Company. I like cowboys. In Indian pictures, so this would write up my alley. And I think who was on this one? I think they get credit on this one. She's another popular reader, Robbie Lester. So it's mostly Lewis Lane and Robert and Robbie Lester that get credit on all of this thing. Like you, because I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of you guys keep asking who is who is the person that plays on the record. Sometimes they don't say. Like if I was gonna get this, uh, like 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 this one, this one, because I watched it. Let's see. Yeah, this one don't got nobody. So if you was asking me who was on who read this book, I couldn't tell you. There's no name on this, on this record at all. So he was either somebody that they paid, or somebody that was hoping. Get out of tax problem. He couldn't have re he couldn't have any credits on anything. Or he was just a nobody that read a book. I uh, read an audio book for the Walt Disney people. And a lot of you guys all be asking me who draws the pictures, who, who and like on these books, they do not say who draw anything. There's no there there's no credit to these people. I would love to get credit to the people who drew the pictures. Even on this thing, there's no person that who wrote the story. All you see is Walt Disney for um yeah, Walt Disney name on the top of the book. Even inside, there's no credits. So it's kind of sad that nobody gets credit on these books. So I don't know if all the other so far all the books I've been doing don't got no credits on none of them. All the Walt Disney stuff. But when I do more videos, I'll look carefully, and you might see somebody who got a credit to it. I never paid attention. So, if you've seen this at the theaters, if it was at the theaters, on TV, if if you've seen this anywhere, or if you've seen it for the first time, like like I kind of did, like I've seen this when I was a little kid in the 80s, I'm seeing it for the first time since the 80s. So, Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a great day with another video coming out real soon.